everyone welcome to my youtube channel today i'm going to do a quick review and some swatches of the lorac pro palette so this is a palette that i was very cautious about giving my opinion i have owned it pretty much since it was launched on ulta website for the first time so it's been almost over a month now and this is the palette this is how it looks like it's very similar pretty much the same shape and texture that the Lorac Pro one. The only difference is the color. So this is a gray and I can show you the Lorac Pro one so you can see the difference. So here's the Lorac Pro one which you can see has a lot of stains because of the material and this is the Lorac Pro two. They're pretty much the same material so it I think it's a little bit more gentle on the stains because it's not as dark but it still catches up a lot of uh, stains now let me show you the shades so it comes up with a plastic film that i took off because it just doesn't make sense for me to keep it in there and those are the shades so again the very similar uh, layout on the lower row of all shimmers and the top row of all mattes pretty much um, they have a lot of neutral eyeshadows and they included three different uh, eyeshadows that will definitely help you kick it up a notch which is plum this is a deep plum color then they included navy which is a very dark deep blue those two are matte and then they included jade which is a very uh, dark kind of olive green so those three colors are the ones that I would say it will help you to kick it up a notch if you're creating a look the look that I'm wearing today was completely created with the, Pro, the Lorac Pro 2 palette and as you can see I'm wearing some of the blue on my lower lash line it definitely helps to keep it up a notch a little bit on the looks that you can create and you can do pretty much the same thing with either plum or jade on the lower lash line or even use it as the deeper crease color for other looks now one of the things that you need to really um, think about is the quality of the shadows. I have worked with this palette for over a month and I've created two looks. This is one and then I have another one that I need to edit as well to upload and it's really nice. The texture of the eyeshadows, they're buttery. The matte shadows are very pigmented and the fallout is reasonable considering the pigmentation that they have because they're very pigmented they blend in very easily they stay i mean i applied this makeup since morning and it's over eight hours right now and it looks just as when i did it so it's incredible obviously i have a vase i have painterly pink pot as a vase but still they hold on very nicely they blend wonderful and the finish of the eyeshadow is very smooth very pro looking so I'm going to do some swatches for you guys I'm going to start with the first row and these are the four two uh, that we have so starting with this one which is here 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 and here and I can do some swatches right in my hand so you can see I go ahead and swatch the last four of the first row and those are a little bit darker and therefore even more pigmented than the first ones they're all equally pigmented and wonderful to work with now the only thing you need to consider is that they all come back with a black and this is kind of a toned it's a different kind of black than if you're used to uh, black um, like the carbon black from MAC it's it's a little bit not as black as I usually use it but still works very nicely and it's buildable so you kind of can achieve that look now I'm going to swatch the row of the shimmer colors then the bottom row and this is how it looks as you can see the pigmentation it's amazing it's just amazing let me swatch I had swatched some of them here so you can see the pigmentation it's amazing really amazing you see that 
very nice pigmentation and they're all very very clear tones so they are a little bit hard to catch up on camera but the pigmentation and the consistency is great all right let me swatch the last four of the palette for you here you go those are the last four and um, I have to say that the favorite colors, it's its very hard to say. Uh, they are all great. They have put together a great variety. So this puff color and this beige color can be used either as your lid as well as your highlight for your brow bone. The snow color can be used for your lid or for your tear dot like I'm wearing it today because it really drags in the attention and it's really pigmented. Now light brown and nectar, those two here are great transition colors to have on your crease to blend out any other color. Now if you see rose and even silver, those two are very good lit colors. And then you have mocha and chrome those are very nice also for your crease area now you would have here plum navy coral and jade those two are great colors for uh, deepening the crease as well as your lower lash line and then you have coral black and cocoa which can be used as also for smoky eyes for deepening your crease for lower lash line and as well as uh, to create really dramatic smoky eyes so with this palette you can basically achieve any look that you want you can go for a very natural look you can go a little bit on a bolder side you can also create something a little bit out of the box and you can also have all the options to do very nice smoky eyes so I think the price is a little bit, it's on the 40 something, I will list the price, the exact price, but I think it was $42 for this. Um, I do believe it is worth the quality and the uh, color variety and the blending capability and pigmentation that they pulled together. I have to say it's very consistent with the Lorac Pro 1, so it's a really good palette for you if you are a palette junkie like myself. You will be very happy with this palette, it won't disappoint you. Again, what I'm most impressed about it is the quality of the eyeshadows. If you see my makeup, I really didn't have to put much effort on blending or making it look perfect. It has that really pro finish that we are looking for. And it doesn't crease, it doesn't move, it stays on beautifully. So I'm very impressed with the quality. I love pro. Um, I'm very impressed with the quality. I love Lorac Pro palettes and I will definitely be looking forward to buy any other versions that they come up with as long as they keep the same quality. So that's pretty much what I wanted to show you guys. It's a quite short review but it's very consistent. As I said, I've been really working with this palette lately. I wanted to make sure because everybody says so much amazing stuff but I have to really uh, say this. It is true. It's a very, very good palette. So if you are hesitating about buying it I would say don't hesitate you won't be disappointed but you can still go to the store you can still watch it and play around with it and you will definitely make up your mind once you put your hands on it so that's pretty much for this review I really hope it was helpful for you guys and please follow me on Facebook and Twitter if you are in the those social media I keep posting things over there that I don't really go through in my videos and uh, Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more videos to come and like the video if you liked it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.